Advanced Cell Diagnostics is a leading provider of RNA in situ hybridization technology, enabling analysis of biomarkers in intact tissues and cells. Based on ACD's unique patented probe design strategy, RNA Scope enables simultaneous signal amplification and background noise suppression. We'll now look at the RNA Scope workflow and assay to understand how RNA Scope assay unlocks the full potential of RNA biomarker analysis. A researcher selects one to four RNA targets for detection and ACD designs and produces RNA scope probes using a patented probe design for detection of target RNA biomarkers. Using the RNA scope pretreatment kit, which is included in the reagent kit, enables the RNA to be accessible for probe binding. Let's take a closer look at the cellular level. The first step is fixation followed by permeabilization. Now, the RNA molecules in the samples are accessible, the RNA scope probes in situ go to work. Select from thousands of available probes or request a custom design. Probes for virtually any gene in any genome for interrogation in any tissue can be designed and manufactured in two weeks. A standard probe design consists of 20 probes targeting at least one kilobyte for your region of interest. Within the intricate cellular and tissue architecture of an RNA molecule, the highly specific double Z probe pairs are able to differentiate between target and non-target RNA. Each Z target probe contains three elements. The lower region is complementary to the target RNA and is selected for target-specific hybridization and uniform hybridization properties. A spacer sequence links the lower region to an upper region. The two tails from a double Z probe pair form a 28 base binding site for the preamplifier. Two adjacent independent Z probes need to hybridize to the target sequence in tandem in order for signal amplification to occur. Single Z probes binding don't affect the signal amplification, as the preamplifier will not bind to those single Z probes. This prevents amplification of nonspecific signals, contributing to specificity. Signal amplification is achieved by a cascade of hybridization events. Double Z target probe pairs hybridize to the target RNA. Preamplifiers then bind to the site formed by each double Z probe pair. Amplifiers now attach to the binding sites on each preamplifier. Finally, label probes containing fluorescent molecule or chromogenic enzyme adhere to the binding sites on each amplifier. This results in the unparalleled sensitivity and robustness of RNA scope and increases sensitivity, such that a single molecule of RNA can be visualized as a punctuate signal dot under a standard microscope, making the assay very stable. RNA scope technology offers unprecedented sensitivity. Although the average probe consists of 20 double Z target probes, binding of only three is required in order to generate a detectable signal. This design provides robustness against partial target RNA accessibility or degradation and enables detection of very low expressing genes such as PDL1. Specific molecular detection is achieved by the rigorous double Z probes design, which eliminates cross hybridization to unintended targets and routinely distinguishes RNA sequences with up to 85% homology. For example, the detection of specific HPV subtypes, here HPV18, is possible while discriminating other subtypes, here HPV45 and HPV16. Morphological context is provided by cell-specific expression information in tissue architecture, as shown in this example of a mouse intestine FFPE tissue. Quantitative results are obtained with single-molecule detection at single-cell resolution. This enables researchers to quantify per-cell expression level across heterogeneous cell populations. And RNA scope technology is universal. It works for virtually any gene from any species in any tissues.